Hi, this is Graham Jacock. Now, I want to contrast two people. One represents Christianity and one represents non-belief in God or Jesus Christ. Okay? And both have had scandals. Now, David Bowie and I have to take my hat off to David Bowie when Freddie Mercury died and he took to the knee and said the Lord's Prayer. Now, anyway, before this, the 60s and the 70s, now, David Bowie took hard drugs. Okay, get that in your head. Hard, hard, hard drugs. Now, Steve Bowman, or whatever his name is, now, if his education is worth anything, he can relate just what Casey's surrounding the use or the abuse of drugs and how it affects people. There are victims. Now, isn't, I have to say, I have to take my hat off to atheists here because Ricky Gervais is one of them. He loves David Bowie. He forgives David Bowie for a for all that music. But I, I don't know what he does. Does he turn does he turn the cheek? No, not turn the cheek. Does he turn a blind eye to the abuse firstly of David Bowie? David Bowie's own body, he abuses it, or he did abuse it, and he led others astray to abuse theirs. I wonder how many people he took and gave drugs to. You see, it's all very well for atheists to attack Ravi, okay, and say, oh, he propositioned the woman. Well, how many men and how many women did David Bowie abuse while he had that privilege of being this great musician? Now, there's another thing I just cannot comprehend. When atheists quote the New Testament, now I here's one atheist recently and, he, and he's quoted Corinthians and he condemns Christians because a, in, the, the, all the Christians well not all the Christians most Christians are trying to stay with Ravi and ignore all this abuse going on but here the, a, Paul in Corinthians is saying do not stay a associate with people. I find this very odd. One, you think Paul was delusional. Secondly, you rejected this wisdom in itself, in your own lifestyle. You only quote Paul to bring down another Christian. Why do you not quote Paul to give more integrity to atheism? You see, I, I think you have to be careful when 
the, the apostles were writing in the New Testament. For me, this is my opinion. Are they writing as a human being? Okay, I mean, are they, with all their weaknesses and their zealotry about things, or are they writing with the Holy Spirit? Because if they're writing with a... When Paul was talking about do not associate with people, is he talking to people who are weak in their Christian faith or who are strong in their Christian faith? Because if you remember, Paul willingly went to prison. Now, if Paul listened to his own advice, okay, why did Paul go to prison? You see, not everything Paul wrote, or uh, not wrote, uh, yeah, well, not, uh, not everything that Paul spoke on is directed to every Christian. Because if you know what Paul wrote, You'll know that uh, in other letters it says not every Christian should become preachers. You see, Christians have different roles. R-O-L-E-S, if I didn't pronounce that word right. Roles. Christians have different roles. And the advice that Paul may be giving in a letter is not to be obeyed by all Christians. It has an audience. Maybe I should uh, come back to this video again. Maybe I should think about it a while instead of just airing my views. But I just don't have any time for hypocrites because uh, Steve Bowman, not Bowman, Steve Bowman, the lawyer who who worked on the evidence against Ravi Zacharias. I mean, isn't it strange? Time and time again, atheists are protecting Christians with their own a armor. You see, the Bible contains wisdom. The, the, old, the New Testament, okay, talks about how a Christian can be and have a how a Christian can have integrity. Okay, an atheist does not have any integrity of a written form that an atheist can use to help another atheist. The sad reality about atheism is this, an atheist, an atheist is an island because no other atheist will ever judge another atheist. Atheist should be really thankful that a Christian will listen to what an atheist has to say. Because an atheist always uses the Bible to criticise a Christian. Now isn't that the most ironic piece of knowledge anyone can have. An atheist trusts the Bible in its wisdom because it uses specific texts to help get Christians 
back on the right path to living a good Christian life. You see, atheists do not quote atheist authors. Where are your atheist authors? They have no they have no standard of goodness. Because time and time again you are quoting the Bible to a Christian. You see, just because you're quoting something to someone, it doesn't mean what that person lacks is destroying the thing that they believe in. Because what do what do marriage counsellors do? Marriage counsellors bring two people together when they are having problems. And atheists are the marriage counsellors to Christians and they don't even know it because they are too busy judging the Christians. Duh. That's it. Um, rant's over. <laughs>